A drugstore alternative for Paula's Choice Exfoliating Toner is the Peach Slices Toner. This is an alcohol-free toner that targets acne and texture equal to the performance for Paula's Choice. Dupe of the day for the Viral Alia True Skin Serum Foundation is the Makeup Revolution IRL Filter Foundation. It certainly works as advertised. It looks like a filter and melts into the skin perfectly. If you're looking for an affordable swap for Charlotte Tilbury's Hollywood Flawless Filter, you need to pick up L'Oreal's Lumi Lotion. It's lightweight, a little goes a long way, and it doesn't get greasy throughout the day. I've heard so much about this Trader Joe's Super Goop dupe, so I traveled to six different Trader Joe's to find it. Literally. This is an 899 SPF 40 chemical sunscreen, and the appearance, texture, and finish is identical to Super Goop. Get it while you can, because this is for sure to sell out. Dupe of the day for NARS Viral Blush is Milani's Baked Blush. The pigment and finish is almost identical, and you cannot beat the price. Dupe of the day for Armani's Luminous Silk Foundation is L'Oreal's True Match Lumi Foundation. For a fraction of the cost, you can get a healthy radiant glow while improving your overall complexion. Dupe of the day for the Viral Becca Under Eye Corrector is Milani's Supercharged Under Eye Tint. You get more product for less money and a little goes a long way. If you don't want to spend $70 on Tatcha's Water Cream, a comparable option is the Inkyless Omega Water Cream. For $9.99, you can hydrate with this lightweight moisturizer. Dupe of the day for the Laneige Cream Toner is the Versed Milk Toner. The ingredients are very similar and leaves the skin hydrated and refreshed. You need to go to Kroger and pick up their Super Goop SPF dupe, but both options are reef conscious. The oil spray is packed with hydrating oils and the gel is water resistant, mattifying, and you cannot beat the price. Since it's always sold out at my Sephora, going to find an alternative to try for only $8. NYX Cosmetics for the win. Kosas $28 versus NYX Cosmetics $11. Gotta try. I can already tell it's full coverage. Let's blend. Oh wow, it's perfect. Found my new go to concealer. Dupe of the day for Drunk Elephant's Baby Facial is by The Ordinary, and of course, it's the peeling solution. Instead of spending $80, you can get similar results for $8 to exfoliate and ultimately make your skin softer and brighter. If you don't want to spend $50 on Summer Friday's jet lag mask, go to your local drugstore and pick up CeraVe's Night Cream for $19. It's packed with hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and ceramides to hydrate and protect the skin's barrier. Dupe of the day for Tatcha's Silk Canvas Primer is Elf's Putty Primer. For $9, you'll get a similar consistency that neutralizes and blurs your pores. I may have found a dupe for the Amorese Highlighter by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's Revlon Skin Lights Highlighter. Yes, this one is cracked, but the glow is comparable and it's cheaper. Yes, the best dupe for the Anastasia Brow Freeze just came out and it's Elf's Brow Lift. It's almost exactly the same and it's only $6. Dupe of the day for Tatcha's Rice Cleanser is Naturium's Fermented Rice Enzyme Cleanser. For a fraction of the price, you can gently polish, brighten, and hydrate while cleansing. The common dupe for Milk's Hydro Grip Primer is Elf's Cooling Face Primer that multitasks to keep makeup looking fresh throughout the day. There are numerous dupes for the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, but these are my two favorites. The obvious choice is Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter. It smells identical and it's honestly more hydrating. And my other favorite is Vaseline's Cocoa Radiant Body Lotion. Another drunk elephant dupe. The Glycolic Acid Treatment by Natrium is a great alternative. Only $23 at Target. I love Good Jeans by Sunday Riley, but if you're looking for a dupe, the Ordinary's Lactic Acid Treatment targets signs of aging, discoloration, and also exfoliates the pores. My favorite dupe for Tatcha's Dewy Skin Cream is Bliss's Explosion Moisturizer because it has shea butter for maximum hydration and vitamin C for an instant glow. This is a great dupe for Kat Von D. Only $5. Affordable Vitamin C Serum at Ulta Beauty. Good Molecules. Daily Brightening Serum for $8. Their niacinamide serum is also a great dupe for glow recipe. I may have found a dupe for the Dr. Jarrett color correcting cream and it's the L'Oreal anti-redness BB cream. I'm going to do a swatch test on my left hand for the Dr. Jarrett one and this one is super thick and hard to blend. I'm going to do a swatch test for the L'Oreal one on my right hand and this one is super easy to blend. The finish is almost identical. The only difference is the Dr. Jarrett one contains SPF and the L'Oreal one doesn't. Does Trader Joe's have a dupe? For the Glow Recipe Watermelon Mask. $7 versus $45. Comment if you've tried. An almost identical dupe for IT Cosmetics' CC Cream is ELF's Camo CC Cream. It has great coverage, sinks into the skin perfectly, and contains SPF for a fraction of the cost. The most popular dupe for Tarte's Creamy Shape Tape Concealer is ELF's Hydrating Camo Concealer, and the wear test on the hydrating one is easily comparable to the 16-hour wear camo concealer as well. Which one do you prefer? 
So you're looking for a dupe for the Dior blush and Essence Mosaic blush is an almost identical dupe for the $37 Dior blush except for Essence's blush retails for $3.99. The finish and consistency is comparable and if that's not a dupe, I don't know what is. I would be happy to show you one of the affordable dupes for Tatcha's water cream. A comparable option is Neutrogena's Hydro Boost which offers a similar gel cream formula that seals in moisture without all of the grease. Let's talk about dupes. If you're still spending almost $70 on this Drunk Elephant Peptide Moisturizer, you do you, but that is not for me. I'm gonna walk over to the Inky List section and grab the Peptide Moisturizer for $15. It's just as good, it's just as effective, and it's only $15. You're welcome. Kroger came out with an SPF that's a dupe for Kylie Skin and Super Goop sunscreen, so I had to try it out. I'm putting the Kroger one on first and then the Kylie one. The Kroger one has a little bit more pigment, so let's see how it blends. After blending both of them, I honestly don't really see a difference. I'm very impressed and it's a great price point for $10.